William Orr. Okay, good morning everyone. As you all know, my name is William Orr. I'm a your hardware specialist. And uh, I've been doing this, I started working since 1989, working for somebody else. And I learned the trade. I like it that much that about 10 years later, 1999, I opened my company. And I have been doing this ever since. There's a few things that you know I can talk about, you know, like all the most common words that we have. But I have a quick question to ask you, everyone. What's the, the meaning of good for it? Of what? What's a good for it? What's a good floor? Yeah, what's wood floor for you guys? One that my dog's nails. <laughs> <laughs> One of them look dirty all the time. <laughs> 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 no, it's all dust. It's, it's a product made out of timber, made to, to become a wood floor. And it comes to different species and colors. Colors is not because they are stained. It's the color of the species of wood, like oak, walnut, maple. The most common materials we, they, we use nowadays is oak. You know, <laughs> like, like 30 years ago, 40 years ago, more than that. Like, they didn't select the material. Now they have like white oak, red oak, forest oak. They, depending on the way they cut the tree, that's how they call the, the, the species of wood. And the most common flooring that we have nowadays, the most popular one is the, that we call engineer flooring, which is the one made out of, with the top layer out of wood, and the rest of the layers are plywood, yeah, you know, laid down in different, different directions to make it stable. This one is the most common that the people like because they don't like to have dust in the houses. They want something quick, and if you find a color that you like, this is the way to go nowadays. And the other one is the solid material, which is the one we use only on, uh, most of the time we use it only on the existing, when they have existing flooring, and they just want to add to a room or a couple rooms that they have carpet, to remove the carpet and put the new flooring. And most of the cases we use solid wood because that's the one that they have in the houses. Then we have the, the material of laminated flooring, which is one of the most common materials that is the most economical, they use it for apartments, buildings, people who won't build this, they love to have it, you know. So it's easy to maintain, it doesn't scratch. So that's one of the most common materials that they use. One of the, my specialties that I do, that I'm doing most of the time nowadays is sanding, refinishing, and staining existing floors. Because people nowadays are thinking of saving the material that they have and just add any, any new color. Most of the time nowadays they go for a dark finish. So it's almost black in the existing flooring. And there's another species of flooring that I, or another new material that we're using nowadays. It's not that popular. It's called Ripley wood. The Ripley wood is the material that it's in the, in the middle of the country now, here. And it's uh, fences, barns that, you know, they just remove the material, snow, it's been in the snow. It's been treated by the elements, so you don't need to kiln drive. Kiln drive is when you cut the timber, the wood, the raw wood. They cut it in different dimensions. They cut it like one by 12, and they put it in the kiln drive, and you know, put it to dry for like a couple months. And then they make they convert this material into hard floor. The one that we found and this with the some percentage of humidity into the wood. And uh, but this material, the reclaimed wood, has been going through the elements for so many years, even decades. So that's the most stable they use. They use it as a veneer now, but they're gonna use it probably it's gonna be the next engineer flooring and probably I'm hearing the next five years they're gonna do Engineer flooring from Brickland Wood, which now this is kind of expensive, it's limited, but uh, it would be there and it's good for the environment because you are not cutting trees to make the hardwood. So it's saving the earth to keep it 
more light, <laughs> more air to breathe. And uh, what else I can tell you about how we... The, there's a few designs of water that we're doing also. It's coming back from the 1990s, which is the herringbone and the purchase boring. Some people is doing that, coming back to the 90s with the parquet. Parquet is squares of oh, like 36 and 36 inches with different designs. Depending on the design that you go on, you need that design. But the common thread right now is carrying bone for the entry of the houses. And uh, that's all I can tell you about how for now. Are there any questions? Any? Continue. Can you give us your <coughs> opinion on what has the color trend been for the Uh, that you're doing that you're seeing a lot of. So where has it been, and where is it going next year? Okay. I can go back to 1990. From 1990, I've seen all the trends. It went from the, the white wash, bleach white wash in the 1990s, went back to the 2000s when it started using like kind of bright colors. Then 2005 to 2012, 15, they were using uh, dark colors, super dark. Nowadays, they're going back to gray, gray, gray colors gray. on the gray side. Like, it started with a dark gray, now they're going like a little bit loaded to a very lighter gray. They might go into the whites, not the really white, but into the, the, the kind of the cream colors. That, that's right, I think they're going. It's still more rustic. Yeah, exactly, and the rustic, that rustic design, and it looks like kind of antique wood. That's the way they're going nowadays. Probably I think they will get back to the natural colors in five years from now. And that's like, it's going like this, it's going back to this. Yeah, exactly. That's some of the colors they're going. Uh, I heard of uh, floating floors. What's the benefit of having a floating floor as opposed to regular? The floating floor, you know, they use it for the, Laminate flooring is a floating floor. You, we just form underneath and we just float it. You cannot nail it. You just click it all together and it's floating. The, the advantage is saving money on glue and the other expenses that you have to do it. And the real hardwood or maybe the engineer flooring. And also if you if you fell or something, it's not to break your legs as easy as the, in the solid floor. That's what they do in the basketball courts. They put like, a, it's called slippers. It's like a rubber that goes underneath. It has like a cushion of air. That when you keep the, the place fell on the floor, they don't actually break your legs. They're going to hurt. You don't get hurt, but they're not going to break your leg and arm or something like that. That's why we use like, it's called slippers. So it has like a, like a little rubber that have a cushion over so absorb the impact of the players on the board. Yeah, the other thing you might mention is the value that's the property. The value that you increase the, the property. Well, yeah, depending on the, the type of point you use, that's how we're gonna increase the value of the property. My recommendations are always just the, the highest <laughs> end you can buy for the for the money. You know, like material that you can send, you know, like if you don't like the color of few years from now, you can change it. Use material with the thicker wear layer, so you can send it, change the colors, and that's going to increase the value of the house versus the laminated part. Yeah. Um, they used to say that the Without these kind of things is the engineer flooring. The soft the engineer flooring, the one with the layers of plywood and the small layer of hardwood on top. That's the, the one I recommend, it's more stable. than the solid, solid floor. Solid floor is like moves every year, you know, like summer, winter, depending how, how much, the, how high you go on the heater, you know, shrinks the wood and then with the, with the, with the winter, with the humidity, expand. 
So I got sometimes customers that they told me I have to fill up some gaps. And I tell them, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna squeeze it out and it happens, you know, squeeze out the filler that you put in through the floor. So the solid is always like that, has a lot of movement. The engine is the most stable. But it still has some movement because it's an organic product, but it's minimal. So I, I know that uh, William didn't have time to uh, get to it, but he had this floor put down just so you could ask him questions about it. So please feel free to, to ask him about it. So uh, obviously, William, um, uh, no, it, it's unlikely that someone's going to come up to us and say, hey, I need a wood floor. Where do I go? What are the questions that someone might ask us? So what are the things that we should be listening for that would indicate that's a good tip for you? Uh, somebody who's got wood. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> me. All right. On that note, uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I see we have more questions. Please see William after the meeting, and you will answer.